consider the following reaction at a temperature of 25 degrees Celsius. A B solid produces C solid and T gas. The following data are given for the standard enthalpy change of formation and standard entropies at 25 degrees Celsius. Question number one. Show that the reaction is non-spontaneous at 25 degrees Celsius. Spontaneity of a chemical reaction is determined by the sign of the delta G or the Gibbs free energy change of the given reaction. If delta G value is negative, the reaction is spontaneous. If delta G is positive, the reaction is non-spontaneous. Also, if the value of delta G equals zero means the reaction is at equilibrium. Now, we have to show the given reaction is non-spontaneous at 25 degrees Celsius. Therefore, we need to prove that the delta G value of this reaction is a positive answer. Gibbs free energy change equals enthalpy change minus temperature times entropy change. If these values were calculated under the standard conditions, we need to modify this equation. Standard Gibbs free energy change equals standard enthalpy change minus temperature times standard entropy change. To show this reaction is non-spontaneous, we have to calculate delta G value of this reaction. Standard enthalpy changes of formation of the reactants and the products as well as standard entropies of these reactants and the products were given in this question. From the standard enthalpy changes of formation of the reactants and the products, we can calculate the standard enthalpy change of this reaction. From these standard entropies of the reactants and the products, we can calculate the standard entropy change of the reaction. Temperature was given. Therefore, we can calculate the delta G value. Now, we will move to the calculation. First, we can calculate the standard enthalpy change of this reaction. Standard enthalpy change of the reaction equals sum of the standard enthalpy change of formation of products minus sum of the standard enthalpy change of formation of the reactants. Standard enthalpy change of formation of the product C is negative 600 kilojoules per mole. Next, standard enthalpy change of formation of the product D is negative 500 kilojoules per mole minus standard enthalpy change of formation of the reactant that is negative 1208 kilojoules per mole. You need to substitute these values with the unit because you will get marks for the unit as well. It is negative 1100 plus 1208. The standard enthalpy change of the reaction is 108 kilojoules per mole. Next, standard entropy change of the reaction equals sum of the standard entropies of products minus sum of the standard entropies of reactants. Standard entropy of the product C is 50 joules per Kelvin per mole. You need to add 
the standard entropy of the other product, the product D, 170 joules per Kelvin per mole, minus the standard entropy of the reactant AB, 100 joules per Kelvin per mole. Then it's 220 minus 100. Therefore, the standard entropy change of this reaction is 120 joules per Kelvin per mole. Now we can substitute values for the delta G expression. Standard enthalpy change of the reaction we have calculated as 108 kilojoules per mole minus temperature is 298 Kelvin times standard entropy change of the reaction. It's 120 joules per Kelvin per mole. The unit of enthalpy change is kilojoules per mole. Therefore, entropy value also we need to convert into kilojoules. Then you can divide 120 by 1000 or we can write 120 times 10 to the power negative 3 kilojoules per Kelvin per mole. Then 108 minus 35.76 Kelvin and per Kelvin will cancel out. So the units are kilojoules per mole. Therefore, the standard Gibbs energy change of this reaction is 72.24 kilojoules per mole. Now we can see delta G value is positive. Therefore, this reaction is non-spontaneous. This is the answer for the question number one. Question number two. This reaction is spontaneous when the temperature is greater than T degrees Celsius. This reaction is non-spontaneous when the temperature is less than T degrees Celsius. Calculate T. This reaction is spontaneous when the temperature is greater than T. Therefore, when the temperature is greater than T, delta G has a negative value. And this reaction is non-spontaneous when the temperature is less than T. Therefore, delta G is positive when the temperature is less than T. Now we will move to the temperature T. We saw that delta G value is negative when the temperature is greater than T. As well as delta G value is positive when the temperature is less than T. Therefore, at T degrees Celsius, delta G equals 0 or else this reaction is at equilibrium. Now, we can use the same equation for delta G to get the answer. Standard at T degrees Celsius, delta G equals 0. Next, T delta is not equals delta H naught. Then temperature equals standard enthalpy change is 108 kilojoules per mole. Standard entropy change is 120. It's joules. We need to convert to kilojoules. Kilojoules per Kelvin per mole. Therefore, the temperature is 900 Kelvin. This question gives you the value of T in degrees Celsius. Therefore, it's not a must, but it's better if you can give the answer in degrees Celsius. 
fifty equal nine hundred minus two hundred seventy three degrees Celsius. Six hundred and twenty-seven degrees Celsius. This is the answer for the question number two. Question number three. State the assumptions you made in the calculation in question number two above. To get the answer for the question number two, we have used the standard enthalpy change and the standard entropy change. We know these values were calculated. At 25 degrees Celsius. Therefore, the main assumption is these two values does not change when the temperature increases to 627 degrees Celsius. We can write standard enthalpy change of the reaction and standard entropy change of the reaction have same value at 25 degrees Celsius or 273 Kelvin and 627 degrees Celsius or 900 and Kelvin or in other words these two values are temperature independent that is the assumption we use during this calculation.